Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how to quick start your iPad if you already have an iPhone or another iPad for that matter. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So if you have a new iPad, you want to have your data from your previous device restored into your iPad. And you can do that in various ways. One of those ways, and I like, and I do like this way, is by transferring the data from your iPhone or iPad to your actual new iPad. So first thing first, what we need to do is go and set up your language. So in this case, I'll set up English, Netherlands. And now we get the option to quick start the iPad. And if you have on your other device, your Bluetooth on, this message will show up, set up your new iPad this way. So what you need to do is hit continue and then this animation will show up. So what this animation does, you need to scan this animation. It works like a QR code. You scan it with your camera of your other device and that way all the data from the other device will be transferred to your iPad. So let's go ahead and do it. As you see on your other device, this will show up and it says, hold your new iPad up to the camera. So that's exactly what we will do. And by scanning that animation or that code, your iPad knows that it needs to retrieve data from your iPhone or other device. You can do it also with your iPad or yeah, actually you can just do it with your iPad and iPhone as far as I know. So for now it says finish on new iPad. So now we need to go through all the steps as usual. So now it says enter password of your iPhone. So I cannot just type in any password. I need to type the password of my iPhone in. So I'll just do it real quick. And now it sets my iPad up and it needs, it will take a few minutes to activate my iPad. So we'll give it that and I'll see you in a second. So now and I go through the usual steps like setting up face ID, uh, which I'll do in a second. So as you see, my face ID is now set up. Uh, I need to accept agree to terms and condition all that time. My iPhone, I cannot use my iPhone. I need to keep it on this screen. Uh, I can just, I can't just go and send a text message. So your iPhone or iPad will be occupied during the time that you are activating your iPad. So let's agree to terms and conditions. I made an unbox video. So if you haven't seen that video yet, just go and check that out. That iPad had some data and I can just restore that data from the iPad from the iPad I used on the 3rd of July, 2022. So I can do that or I can just go for another backup. So let's hit continue to just restore that data. Um, yeah, enable location services. Continue. Next. So adding carts and all of that, I'll do that uh, when I finish this video. So that's re the reason why I'm just hitting next. And now, and now it needs time to restore the data from the iCloud. This data is from the last time I used this iPad, which was like a week ago. Um, and I believe it shouldn't take much time. It's about one minute. And just like that, the restore is completed. So let's hit continue. Let's agree to the terms and conditions. Let's help Siri to improve. I know our devices are spying on us, but hey, whatever, just share all your records. And now the data of my iPhone and uh, iPad I used like a week ago is now on this brand new iPad. And that's how you do that real quickly. Whenever you have a new device, like your a new iPhone or iPad, so it works also on iPhone, just use the data that you have on your previous device by scanning that code and the setup of your iPad will go real quickly. So I hope you've got something out of this video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.